Uh, but everybody, this is Susan Wojcicki. She's the CEO of YouTube. Obviously, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in, in the world. And I'd love to talk with you about a bunch of this stuff. So first, let's just let it, get this out of the way. How is quarantine? It's tough. It's a disruption for everyone. For us at YouTube, really, the focus was making sure we could continue to offer all the services and keep all of our employees safe. COVID-19 took us all by surprise, just the speed that it moved. And we had to take incredibly fast actions as well. We we live in an age of information and also of misinformation. Is there a way for you to understand better the cycles of disinformation? When we look at misinformation, we were able to leverage the work that we've done over the last couple of years. And we've built a large number of tools and systems and ranking to be able to handle concerns associated with misinformation. I'm curious, from your perspective, what are the ways that have been most effective for creators to get your attention, to change policy, to like help you know what you need to be focusing on? So we spend a lot of time understanding what creators are doing and release a large number of experiments to understand how to do our basic job better, to offer mm -hmm. a more compelling service for creators. But then we also listen qualitatively. So what are they saying to us on Twitter? What are we hearing in our creator meetings? A lot of times it's a complicated ecosystem. Mm -hmm. We are doing our best to grow the overall platform and do what's best for all of the constituents in the long term, but there are definitely moments that it gets a little bumpy. YouTube obviously is a big influential cultural institution at this point. You know, a lot of people get news and information through YouTube. It's a place for distraction, it's a place for entertainment, it's a place for education. On sort of a top level, what do you feel like is YouTube's role in the midst of this crisis? Well, we immediately felt that we played an important role in getting out valuable health information. We ran a big campaign to encourage and remind people that staying home saves lives. We engage a lot of creators, so thank you to all the creators who created public service messages. And I think just helping people connect. We see that there's so many people at home, they're unable to do their regular activities. So we're always working to figure out how to help people connect. Susan, thank you so much for having this conversation with me. Thank you for having me on your channel.